Yorana, my name is Hiriata Brotherson. I'm 30 years old. I was born and raised on the island of Tahiti, and my origins come from the Rarumate Islands. Today, Heiva is the greatest cultural uh, event in French Polynesia. It is the platform of cultural expression through dance, himine, the songs, the pehe, and also orero. So this year, the group I'm competing with is Manohiva. It is a group led by Puera Vataya. So as a Tia Orero, my role is to tell the story of uh, our group that is written by our author. I got interested in Orero by watching the Heiva e Tahiti for my whole life. And my mother is also Orero, but I'd say I've been self-taught. So as a child, I was a very shy person. And when I started performing three years ago, um, it has been a real satisfaction to be able to communicate the message with the public that is here. So tonight, I am wearing three different costumes. Here, I have two of them. And the last is made with fresh flowers and ferns. So um, this costume is made of seashells, more, which is a fiber of pura tree. And here is a white ni'o from the coconut tree, very young leaves. So this costume depicts the island of Bora Bora on the Motu. And on the first scene, I encourage the public to enter the pass of Te Avanui, and that's why we chose elements from the sea. So this um, black and red costume is the costume I wear on the, in the last scene. And uh, it's made of feathers and more to represent the maro ura. The maro ura is an insight of prestige and power that was once worn by the... So costume making is one of the other challenges of the Heivai Teichi. Most of the elements uh, get very little sleep the last days to prepare for their fresh costumes. And as an orero, there's no room for mistakes. So my costumes have been made by a professional costume maker. His name is Teisho Kurater Oatea. So that is one of the perks of being an orero also. I feel pride in a way, and I feel possessed by an energy that is flowing through me and it goes out through my voice to the general public. The difficulties we encounter during the Heva is to find locations where to rehearse where with a group of more than 150 person. Uh, often it's in disgusting parking lot. So everyone loves culture, but there is no place to rehearse properly and to practice. <laughs> So my message to people in Aotearoa and throughout the world would be to keep on, keep our culture alive and keep uh, our reo alive. Mm -hmm.